morning guys, it's Tamara here from fitnitchick.com. I'm on Lindsay's list this morning for Trainer Tuesday, talking about stretches, and my stretch of choice is a hamstring stretch. I'm gonna show you a couple of different options depending on your flexibility and your fitness level. Hamstrings, really important muscle. They extend from just above the hip to just below the knee. Their primary job is flexion of the knee and extension of the hip. So think about a deadlift position when you're standing tall and you're pulling your body up using the muscles behind you. Those are your hamstrings. Lots of people have tight hamstrings and tight hamstrings can lead to lower back pain, lower back stiffness or soreness if you don't do something about them. So two stretches today. The first one I like to teach in my fitness classes at the end is a lying down stretch. You're gonna lie down on your mat. Nice and relaxed. Knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. You're gonna take one leg up to the ceiling, holding on behind the thigh, and you're gonna flex the foot so that the toe is pointing down towards your nose. Notice that the leg is as straight as you can get it, but you're gonna keep the knee soft. So a little bit of a bend in the knee, soft knee, never lock the knee out. You're gonna hold that stretch for about 15 seconds. And at the end of that 15 seconds, you're gonna take a deep breath in and you're gonna exhale and you're gonna reach down towards your calf or your ankle, whatever you can get to. And you're gonna to try to pull that straight leg in just a little bit closer to your chest. Holding the stretch for about 30 seconds total, switching sides, starting again with that nice easy version, hand behind the thigh, making it more challenging as the muscle relaxes. Okay, so that's my level one hamstring stretch. Level two, I'm gonna ask you to come to a seated position and I'm gonna ask you to take one leg out long, bring the other leg in. You can place the foot at the thigh, the knee, the calf, whatever's comfortable for you. I want you to make sure that the leg we're stretching is straight and once again, you flexed that foot so the toe is pointing towards your nose. You're gonna take a deep breath in, elongate your torso by reaching up towards the ceiling and then turn and on the exhale, you're gonna hinge down from the waist. So you notice I don't get down very far, that's okay. My back is flat. I'm not feeling a stretch in my lower back, not too much. I'm feeling a big stretch in the back of my upper thigh, my hamstring, okay? You're gonna hold that for about 15 seconds. Take a deep breath in and then exhale and try to bring the chest a little closer to the thigh. It shouldn't hurt, nothing should pull. You shouldn't feel any tearing. You should just feel a nice, gentle stretch, all right? That's a couple of options a lying down hamstring stretch, and a seated hamstring stretch. The thing I like about the seated version is my leg is forced into that straight position because of the floor, and I'm using the weight of my upper body as a bit of leverage to get lower into the stretch. Have a great day, guys. Don't forget to stretch. Really, really important part of everybody's training. Thanks, Lindsay, for having me, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.